Sorry Tomorrow are a decent heavy band. Uh, this is a new song by them called Bolt Cutter, which I've not heard yet. Uh, they've got a few songs that I have loved, um, um, but a lot of songs I think are, are, are decent, but not totally grab me uh, in repeat plays, but we'll see what this new one is like. It's four minutes long and go. Ow, my ears. It's a pretty intense start. Oh, God, oh. Nice. Lovely driving beat. Lovely little squeaks from the guitars. Mm. Well, I'm liking the boob thus far. Mm. Fat, what's next? Very cool. It's got a great mood to it. A little bit of whispering that adds an intensity. Mmm, the snare has entered. Lovely vocal. They've not sounded like this before, this is great. And then... Nice. So there's some strong, punchy rhythms for the vocals. A bit of synth flare in the background. Yeah. Everyone yeah. loves that lovely guitar in the lead there. Whoa, lovely harmony. Yes, drums. <laughs> nice. Gaps in the guitars. She's got such a low growl. Almost sounds like he's gargling. Wow. The balance of melody and harmony in this is really, really nice. Lovely. Okay. Oh. Interesting choice of chorus to be just raw vocals, basically. It's all about the rhythm and intensity. A little bit of busyness in the guitar, actually. It's quite low. <laughs> that lead layer is very tasty. And the space that the rest of the instruments give it. That's gnarly, dude. What am I, a surfer? That's gnarly. I can't believe I've said that. That's gross. Hey, that's fucked up. Is that it? Is that the song? Oh my God. We're the children of the seventh son. I don't know what that means. It sounds, sounds cool. Uh, that was gross. That's gonna stay with me in my dreams. Thanks, guys. Um, well, I, I like that. I think that was fairly obvious. I, that had groove to it. It had a surprising balance for me for um, Burry Tomorrow of like a thoughtfulness to their melodic vocal inclusion there. Um, they've suffered in the past, well, I say suffered, that sounds worse than it actually is, from things that, uh, I don't know, 
you would be almost tokenism, like we're gonna have some fucking heavy rock band and then we'll have like a beautiful catchy chorus, which by the way, I usually love because I love pop music as well. Um, but it becomes a little bit kind of like, well, we'll just do this for a hook and then people will be happy with it. This, interestingly, the main chorus that no melodic vocals at all, it was like scream vocals of the rhythm of those punches over some simplified music to make it sort of have that chorus feel. Um, and the melodic stuff was more in the verses and it was really, interestingly put together. It's much more of a kind of atmosphere to it. The drums were doing some some tom-tom uh, work and the snare only came in like halfway through the first verse. So it was really setting an interesting musical tone, which they, I don't, I've not really heard them do that before. Everything's a little bit more, let's fucking blast your face off with some heavy rock. Also have some big layered like lead guitar stuff, which they had in here. But that was a kind of considered thing. But I've not really had a, a metal band have a chorus like that before. Um, that was really interesting. Because that chorus for me, that sort of, that'd be a good uh, like pre-chorus perhaps. But it, they, they, this song, that was their main, their main moment. It was actually somewhat controlled uh, and it wasn't like brutally heavy. Um, but yeah, it had some groove, it had some catchiness to it here and there. Uh, rhythms I enjoyed, some really beautiful uh, lead guitar work. Um, yeah, that was great. I liked that. I like the, the fact that it seems a bit more creative uh, future, perhaps, for, for Bird Tomorrow in terms of their songwriting uh, side of things. They can produce something like that. I wanted it to go on for longer. I wanted, I wanted some kind of like a more extended bridge before the last kind of chorus thing or like a, or a crazy beat down thing. That didn't happen. And that's kind of interesting because it, again, signals that maybe they're being more considered about the songs that they're creating and the, the kind of vibe they're looking to put out there. So that was very interesting. And I, that's a definite repeat player for me. I'm gonna hear that again a few times. That was great. So thank you uh, to my brother for putting that on my radar. I didn't know that was out. Uh, very cool. If you enjoyed that and you wanna see more reactions from me in future, do subscribe. Otherwise, have a wonderful day and maybe I'll see you in another video.